All right, man, we got yet another update in this loving hip-hop Britney Taylor, Remy Ma case. Now, we reported about a couple of weeks ago that Remy Ma was under investigation for allegedly punching Britney Taylor in her face, and it even escalated to the point where a few days ago, Remy Ma had to turn herself in post-bell. Well, there's a new, a new statement coming from Remy Ma's lawyer, and she's saying that this Evidence right here is pretty much going to clear Remy Ma's name. Now, Remy Ma claims that at 9.30 on April the 16th, she was actually at her residence, and she didn't arrive to Irvin Plaza until about 10.45, 15 minutes before she was due to go on stage. Now, why is this significant? Because this is the time that Brittany Taylor affirms that Remy Ma punched her behind the scenes during a concert at Irving Plaza. Plaza. So pretty much Britney was saying that they was behind, you know, the, the, uh, the stage at this time about 930. But Remy saying her video footage, her security footage from home showing that she is home around 930. So Remy should have a lot of reasons to dance. Now, Remy's lawyer goes on to say that opposing counsel was dumbfounded upon the statement of such fact, meaning that they showed the opposing counsel, the prosecution, the fact that, look, it appears that Brittany Taylor might have been lying because Remy Ma was home at 9.30. So maybe we need to put in a motion to dismiss this. This girl's lying. And we know Fat Joe came out a few days ago saying pretty much like, yo, this chick right here is lying. She's looking for clout. And it just seemed a little funny because it just didn't seem like Remy Ma would put herself in a position like this knowing that there's security cameras, there's phones, somebody would got some some type of footage, the aftermath, there's nothing here. It does appear like Brittany Taylor is lying. Now, when we first reported this, we were just being objective. We didn't know because it seems like it could be a possibility that something happens. It's loving hip-hop. Y'all watch that shit all the time, people fighting and shit. So we kind of thought that it was real, but Remy Ma's lawyer, uh, Florio, brings evidence pretty much saying, like, look, we showed the prosecution this. Remy Ma was home at 9.30. She's saying this happened at 9.30. Remy Ma didn't get here to 10.45. So what are we going to do with this? So I'm thinking that the next, you know, cause of action will be for uh, Remy Ma's attorney to actually uh, put in a motion to get this case dismissed. And hopefully that'll be a great thing because, you know, Remy Ma doing going back and forth with the legal system, serving her time, coming out, being on parole and whatnot, the ankle monitor, bracelet and all that. Weird, come on, man. This is crazy, man. To try to get somebody put back in the system for a swollen eye, and it looks like she didn't even do that. My question is, who the hell did it? Is this some old uh, um, thin lime she love and hate shit? I don't know, man. This your boy, oh, God. Hip-hop news uncensored, though, man. We appreciate everybody, you know, who rocks out. With the channel, I'll just ask you to do only two things. Go ahead and hit the like button on the video and go ahead and share this video. If you're looking for us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or you're looking for the website hiphopun.com, all those links are conveniently located in the description box right below where I'm speaking right now. So Remy Ma, Remy Ma's attorney saying, look, we got evidence. We got proof that Remy Ma wasn't even at the Irvin Plaza at the time that this girl said that Remy punched her in the face. We will definitely keep you updated as soon as there's another update with this case. It's your brother, Oh God, I'm out of here. Peace.